So, Alex, I saw you trying to, to unmute there for a second. I'm not sure if you were trying to jump in. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I want to echo. I think we're, what we're talking about here is the anchor uh, across, you know, the relevancy of where we place these simulations and how we utilize the simulations, essentially. Uh, I can give you an example. For example, in our program, we have five types of equity-driven leadership that we, that we use to, to ground the work uh, in the courses, not all of them are applied across all the courses, but there are courses that emphasize data-driven decisions, learnership, systems thinking, operational, uh, culture and climate. And so we have courses that are specifically designed around enhancing these knowledge and skills. So then we pair the, the simulations as relevant as they are uh, to those courses and we place the, the simulations in the lesson or in the unit where that content or that topic is being discussed. And when we use what we call application to practice, so after the knowledge is, has been developed, after the students have had some time to, to kind of um, uh, you know, process that, they have to then do something. And then part of that activity is doing a simulation. Not only doing the simulation, which is wonderful, don't get me wrong, there's, there's fantastic feedback, there's opportunities to pause, come back to it, uh, start over, uh, you know, make your decisions as, as you go along, but we added, a, a rubric based reflection uh, component in which the students have to reflect not only on the logistical things, you know, what happened, who was present, uh, what are some of the uh, data elements that were a part of the simulation and experience, but more so in terms of how they are reflecting on how they applied the type of leadership thinking that is emphasized in the course. So, for example, on the school turnaround, for example, you know, how did data thinking or data design thinking impact your decision making as you have that lens uh, or perhaps what are the other uh, two or three that are emphasized in the course that perhaps would have aided you in thinking about addressing the issue at hand and going through the, 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 the workflow of collecting information and, and addressing the issues or engaging with the stakeholders. And what we have found is that the students find that connection, that relevancy really important because they're able to then reflect not only on what they've learned, but where they currently have positioned themselves as a leader. Uh, and so we have found that that is a, a valuable uh, exercise beyond the exercise as they reflect on their own experiences and the decisions that they went through, the opportunities that they had to then connect with what decisions they made and what they could potentially change or learn from for next time. Uh, and so we've kind of grounded our work around that. And uh, as an instructor, it's great to be able to see that. And it also, you know, raises some flags in some cases like, oh, I think we need to talk a little bit more about uh, the data protocol, or we need to talk a little bit more about how to involve the stakeholders and the feedback portion of it. So for us, it's, it's not only great, you're able to reflect on this and you tell me what happened, but more so, how are you processing this critically? Fantastic, fantastic. There were some questions too here about in the chat. I'm trying to capture some of them. I'm I'm, I'm afraid I may miss.